The journey of a walk-on athlete is never easy. For Kyle Newquist, his journey came with a position change, one that would pay dividends in just his third career game. Here's the snap, high snap, pulls it down, a shotgun thrown to the end zone, turn it around and catching it for a touchdown for SIU. It's Kyle Newquist. Kyle Newquist, who was a quarterback, moved to wide receiver. Yeah, the first and he catches one here. First it. one here was right there. And so we we're playing, uh, playing Charleston, and Ryan West just uh, as a little fade ball, kind of back shoulder the DB was playing off. But yeah, I remember that one. As Newquist recalls moments in his collegiate playing career, it's the day he earned a scholarship that means the most. So to finally come out here and, you know, go into Coach Lennon's office and he told me, you know, you're going to get a scholarship and to go sign and everything, that was, <laughs> that was crazy. Honestly, you know, I felt like I'd, I'd kind of made it or kind of made something of myself and, you know, I felt like I was worthy to be out there now and I guess it's, it's a different feel than just being a walk-on. Growing up, the idea of playing for a scholarship wasn't important. What was, was the idea of playing with friends. Back then, I was, uh, I only had a couple of trick plays as like a quarterback, and so I'd come around and throw like some end reverse passes or something like that, but uh, he was always a, a goofy kid. He was always a fun kid to be around. Uh, decent little receiver, had some good hands on him. Hi, I'm Jack Eckholm. I'm 21. On July 2nd, I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. I just finished my fifth round of chemo um, out of 17, so this is a long road ahead. He's been a good, like, real good friend of mine, and so to hear he was uh, diagnosed with cancer earlier this year was, was a pretty big hit. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really know what to think, and there just wasn't a day that you go by that you don't think about it. Having been diagnosed less than three months ago, Jack's battle with cancer has just begun. A lot of the things uh, are just out of your control, and you can't, there's nothing you can do to change them or having a factor in them, so um, you kind of have to just let things go and kind of accept them as they come. Jack is in the stands watching Kyle play in college for the very first time. In Jack's honor, Newquist, who normally wears the number 89, will change his number to number one, Jack's number. I think going up and seeing him after the game and just, you know, knowing that I played for him that game and knowing that he was here to watch it, I think is going to be the biggest thing. Um, and knowing he's here to watch it means that you know he's feeling pretty well right now and he's able to travel down here. So that's just gonna be that's just gonna be big. Welcome to Jack Elko, who's in attendance with us tonight and attending his very first Suzuki football game. You are an inspiration to all of us. Thank you for being with us tonight, Jack. The Salukis are with you. For Saluki All Access. I'm Anthony Giassi.